Good morning, Ice Cream Ninja Nation. This is your big homie, Fat Boy Jim, with another ice cream truck video. That's my neighbors. Uh, they got some really sweet fucking hot rods over there. This is my other neighbor. I'm going to eventually try to buy this and work on that. And of course, Mr. Bomb. The Hatchet Man Legend, the Juggalo Express, all the kids' favorite truck. A ton of fun, fellas and gals and everybody else out there in the Ice Cream Ninja Nation. Uh, we just wanted to bring you a uh, quick video this morning, a uh, little update on the 79 Seville. There's Big Red. That is the... 01 Silverado with uh, 101,000 actual. We're going to get a new bumper on there. That's going to a, a customer in the family. Uh, it is getting ready to get redone and taken off the road for a while. The old 97 Cutlass. Yeah, they're good cars, but really not something I'm too interested in spending a lot of time on. Uh, so we want to, uh, and here she is, there's the trunk holder down 5,000, doing its job. It all, it's also a secondary as a spare tire, but we never use it for that, it never comes up. Uh, but yeah, let's just take a good look here. I'm going to give you folks your update, and see what's going on. Oh gosh, fat boy Jim's been working. Big pile of extra parts. Stuff that don't work, you don't need. Uh, let's see here. Ugh. All right. She looks a lot different in there, folks. A lot different. So we've eliminated the pollution control. We've eliminated the air conditioner, which was no good. And have it on its path to becoming a legitimate street beast and that's what I'm talking about folks a fire breathing dragon on the street she is nice uh, the fact of the matter is we just may have her uh, traded off for a rock solid 94 Chevy four wheel drive low mile suburban uh hell of a nice truck hell of a nice guy that owns it uh we're waiting here this morning see if he shows up a uh, little history lesson uh these tires are what's called royal seal uh, they're old school. I only recently, I remember them back in the day, but I never owned any of them. Uh, what happens is if you get a nail or something in it, uh, there's a uh, adhesive in there that will actually seal the hole and keep you on the road so you can get it fixed, get to the nearest gas station or whatever it may take. Uh, but yeah, we're kind of waiting on this guy. We're going to see what happens with him. Uh, we'll give it a little start up. See what she does. Make sure everything's the way it should be. Uh, it's early, folks. So bear with me. Alright. Uh, let's see. fires right up it's got that manual choke on it <laughs> 
When was the last time you seen Now check this out folks. This is what I love. Bumpana, bumpana, let the boys you boys. Bam, bumpana, bumpana, let the boys you boys. How about that, folks? How about that? A live, still living factory AM FM cassette player. Uh, the wipers, the lights, every, the windows, the electric seats, every doodad, even the old overhead light. And keep in mind, folks, this is a 1979. This thing is older than most of you guys watching this video, but not older than Fat Boy Jim. Uh, it's an awesome car, you guys. It really is. I have an older gentleman coming to check it out. Like I said, maybe bring Fat Boy Jim a trade. Oh, that kind of hurt. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. That's all we can really do in the Ice Cream Ninja Nation. So she is up. She is running. Looking good. Feeling good. Driving good. Brakes are still mushy. Buckle up. Wear your crash helmet. Uh, anyway, folks, please like, subscribe. Uh, we'll take a couple seconds here, talk about uh, stimulus checks. I see a lot of clickbait. Uh, I do watch a lot of Logan Alec, though. He seems like a real honest fella. I like him a lot. He keeps me updated. Check him out. Big whoop whoop to Logan Alec. Uh, hope you and your family are safe and all you ice cream ninjas. Uh, this second stimulus, uh, the thing is, uh, I, I think we're going to get it. I'm not positive. I mean, this is politics, folks. There's three things you got to watch what you talk about uh, when you're around people, and that's religion, politics, and softball. Uh, take it from Fat Boy Jim. Uh, the other thing I want to touch base on, Tyson Jones fighting September, early September. Uh, I'm a big Jones fan. I think he's outgunned, but on the same note, I think uh, he's not going to be there uh, for Tyson to just punch all over. Uh, I'm going with jo Jones with the win. I look for Jones to be invisible that whole fight. The only way I see Tyson winning that fight is if he catches Jones. And I don't think Jones is going to stand there. One of the greatest defensive fighters ever in the game. Pound for pound, possibly one of the greatest fighters ever. Roy Jones Jr. Multiple champion in multiple weight divisions. Anything that guy has ever set out to do, he has pretty much got done. Feel free to look up the statistics, the videos, uh, the history of Roy Jones Jr., Big fan. Fat Boy Jim's a big fan. Big, big fan. Uh, give us a shout out. Give us some comments. Uh, we're going to get trucks on the road today. We're going to see what happens with the 79 Seville. But I wanted to get a video in here for you guys. See where we're at with it. And Oh, yeah, yeah. We did switch her to the, uh, the barn find holly. Uh, it needs some adjustments. But with that, folks, I'd like to say have a great day, and uh, we'll keep you posted. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, let us know what you're thinking out there. And with that, y'all have a great day, and uh, stay up with us.